Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday night, and you're on the right channel. I'm Justin Riley, your host. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Jump in the live chat. If you're watching replay, we want you in the comment section. Tell us how you feel. As always, we are brought to you by Workspace Solutions and all my financial partners. With me, as always, is an all-star cast, 1999 all-SEC linebacker Marvin Constant. Senior analyst of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, Stephen M. Smith, and the baddest man to ever tote the rock, two-time national champion and USFL champion, Bo Scarborough. What's up, fellas? We good. We yeah. And we got some special guys on our panel tonight. I'm going to turn it over to Stephen M. Smith. Let him introduce our guys. Well, before I do that, I'm going to take a word from Marvin. I guess I'll hit this in Hangle one time. Turn down your, your volume a little bit. <laughs> I guess I'll hit this in Hangle one time. All right, hit the in Hangle that one time. So, these guests we got up in here, all these guys, brothers right here, you know of all three of these guys. Well, I guess we're going to start off with the guy to the right of me here in this panel. We got the guy that made the huge catch. 2007 against Arkansas, caught that thing from the boy John Parker Wilson to help start this turnaround in the Nick Saban era. I like to call him 1-1 because he all about that 11 life. We got Matthew the analyst Cadell in here. Appreciate Matt Cadell being here. Matt, what's popping, baby? What's going on? Glad to be on this panel with everybody. Talk. Yes, sir. Eat up. What's up, boy? What up, boy? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? And so now we got, let me tell y'all, man. When I talk about this receiver right here, gave me so much joy in that Mike Schumer era. That boy was running routes before these folks was born. Post <laughs> routes, cut routes, drag routes, out routes, deep fades, deuce, deuce, DJ Dread Man Hall, looking like the better version of Lil Wayne up in here. What's up, Dre Hall? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. And, 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 and then last but not least, we got a real OG. He returning kickoffs, punts. Taking taking DBs to school to the house, winning championships. Now he coached his own kids to win championships. He from Beham. Is that Marquise? Maze is yeah. in here. What's up, boys? Hey, Maze. <laughs> what up, hey, fellas? Hey, what up? We got an all star panel tonight, man. <laughs> Listen, man, we're coming off one of the craziest games and arguably one of the craziest seasons, and things aren't right for the first time in a while. Alabama is completely and totally removed from not only the SEC championship pitcher, but the national championship pitcher. And, guys, y'all have been vocal all year, all of you guys, in some way or another. You know, I've talked to each of you, and I'll talk to you a little bit about it too, DJ. Things aren't looking right. Things aren't, ain't, have not been the same inside that locker room for, for quite some time, and we need to address all of it. So that's why I brought you guys here, especially since the entire year, the receiver group of all groups, the, the foundation that y'all built seems to be crumbling, man. So we need a little bit of get right. So I figured <laughs> I'd have the guys that understood what it was all about and who started wide receiver you to jump on man. the podcast. So please help us with that. Peter. Just, let me say this, but isn't it crazy that we can finally get some offensive players on here like we always have? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been pushing for offense. And we got we got all listen. Just the top three of so the top three of the offensive receivers was really know what's going on in the standards. And, Given on the offensive side of the ball, since I'm the only offensive guy, so maybe they can understand even more about the offensive side of the ball. Why are we number nine, though? Where do you feel like we should be? Yeah, 14, 15, <laughs> yeah. somewhere oh, a little bit okay. further down the range. Hey, 20. <laughs> I, I was just making sure you weren't one of them ones. Thought we should oh, be like no. six. <laughs> Nine is being very Boy. generous. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. we need to be like 14, 15. We need to be okay. down a few more notches because they need yeah. a real reality check. <laughs> yeah, man. Exactly. Well, speaking of reality check, I'm going to go ahead and start our first segment, and it just happens to be Bo Scarborough's segment. He's got something to say, so let's get that rolling. Mr. Scarborough, the floor is now yours. Every week, you've been coming in hot with takes that have left the fans going nuts. So I decided to give you the platform to continue that. What you got for us tonight? See, that watching that run right there, you know, I was running and I was standing for something. You know what I'm saying? My shirt say stand for something. Okay. And those guys over there, they don't know how to stand for something. That was mm. one of our mottos that we had when I was there. <laughs> stand for something. We D got Nike assistant, DJ Hall, Mark Mays, Matt, Matthew. Tell me when have we ever won a green mouthpiece in a game? <laughs> hey, you Same. got a green mouthpiece in the game and you don't even have the mouthpiece in. When Listen, have you ever done that? I was see, see, I was gonna say that's some that might have been some saving error. I think he let y'all do that because because Shula wasn't going for that. None of that. No saving ain't going for that either, bro. And that's what I don't understand. We couldn't even wear leggings and long sleeves when they were cold outside because we wanted to be the tougher team. Man, mm. these guys not tough. They soft. I don't see no boom. Mm. I don't, DJ Hall, you know, the, every ball that it hit your hand, you supposed to catch it. You got and, to. And you did it every every trip. We got yes. no, we got no, we got no head huncho, no mm. dog that can be leaders that gonna slap somebody up outside the head and say, "Let go, let get right, get your shit together." Or you need to go in the locker room and refresh and see what's going on. You we preach guys now. not into their playbook because I can tell they're not into their playbook because we only run a certain amount of plays and guys don't know where to be in certain situations. It's not. The coaches they're killing them. It's the player. It's the leadership team. No one is a is a head honcho. No one don't want to take control over the team. It seems like someone's scared to step up and say something. That's what it seemed like to me. Well, and, we, and these guys and they undisciplined. We never had that many penalties. Most penalties that we ever had in the game when I was playing it was five, and no five were against Ole Miss, and we still almost won the game when they came to be a <laughs> true um, that. Man. Hey, when I was playing, our defense was scoring twenty times. Uh, we, we scored, we scored, we scored thirteen times in twenty sixteen. Like no way, Tor Tor in that defensive end should have pissed off and had that dude wide open. Hold on, time yeah. out, time out. Since you <laughs> brought his name up, since you uh -oh. brought his name, here we go, here okay. we go. Uh -oh. Did y'all not see the play <laughs> on the goal line? Oh Tor my god, yes. over the we top. Hold on. Hold on, he get over the top, in the hole, can make a tackle for a loss. Clearly, he closed his damn eyes because his nuts ain't dropped <laughs> And you miss, you whiff, and the man waltzes into the into the damn end zone. Mm. I, get, I, I will bet you every dime I got in the bank, he closed his eyes like a little chick when he ran through that hole. They said that it on the TV, he closed his eyes. Mm. How? Do you, do you understand? Do you understand how deep I would have buried my helmet in that running back chest? Do you Man, understand? No. They would have had to come get a shovel to get his ass out the ground. You give, a, you give a middle linebacker a shot like that, your ass better run two of me through. You got yeah. your damn eyes closed like you scared. Clearly, this is the wrong sport for you, Toe Toe. Yeah. Hang up your cleats and go join the chill eating squad because this shit ain't for you. Okay, well, you showed up right there and right there who you really are. And I've been saying this this entire time he's been there. That play solidifies everything I've been saying. His nuts ain't dropped. He's scared as hell in the middle of that damn defense. If you got a middle linebacker who's scared as hell, your whole defense is screwed. Because he ain't going to go out there and be your enforcer. He ain't going to lead by example. He ain't going to do what I would do. He ain't going to do what Ruben Foster would have done. He ain't going to do what Dante, Rolando. He ain't going to do what Red. He ain't going to do what none of us in that position. Because there's nothing to drop. How do you have a kill shot on the goal line and you close your damn eyes? And, yeah. then, this is, and this is how I know these boys is on this. The play that I was talking about with both of those boys blitz, we ran this same defensive play again, Washington in the playoff, where Ruben told uh, um, 
he told um Ryan Anderson to peel and he was gonna block and Ryan Anderson ended up getting the interception. Yep. The same as that play. Why the hell can they not be listen, in man? I'm tired of people saying that Toa Toa set this damn defense. He's smart, he's intelligent. That's why he's out there. Bullshit. Flush all that shit down the toilet. If you ain't gonna tackle shit, you ain't got no damn business out there. Get him out. Yeah, and he ain't going to tackle shit. Now, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hit, hit go dive his ass on the pile, though, and, and accumulate some damn stats. <laughs> Whoever made him a damn buck of semifinals, no. they need to have their fucking voting rights revoked. They need Bruh. to put their ass out the damn voting rights. If you be trying to tackle to him for the buckus award, you are a jackass. Listen, man. He ain't finna hit. Do you understand how furious I was? Let me tell you something, man. Tia Castillo was at my house watching the game with me that day. Kendall Moore, all of us at my house. They all looked at me. Bro, I was furious. Like, you in the middle of the hole, wide open, untouched, and you close your eyes. He closed his eyes. Yeah. Them boy don't know about the beast out five. That's, bro, that's what it is. That's they what they down to. They don't know about that. Y'all boys ain't ready to shit type of shit they going on. Oh, if oh, anything, he should have oh, ended up with a damn. He don't know about nothing. Oh, of that. Hey, if anything, he should have ended up with a targeting penalty for digging in his ass. It's but he didn't see that. He closed his eyes. You should have missed yeah. every damn thing. From 2007 all the way, all the way to 2017, it was still be South by and All the way. Y'all boys carried on for us down the line, bro. Like, they, like they don't understand. Y'all built it for us. We built it for them. And I don't know who they building it for. Bro, they too, uh, to your point, they too Hollywood right now, man. They look like they so commercialized, man. I'm like, these boys, exactly. ain't even no, they not even no ball players. Have you it's seen like that parking so lot? Hollywood. What'd you Have you about? seen that parking lot? Speak on it. I ain't even seen it. If you have, have that's you okay. seen that parking lot, bro? Uh-uh. You can okay. go to their Instagram. It's right there. Look at the parking lot, bro. You'll see why they act like that. Bro. I don't they need care. to get their keys took because they ain't performing worth a damn. Uh, they I all need to be five and They need to get their key took and they need to uh need a curfew and they need to start being about their business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is going on? Because you they know ain't what about their business. Because these people are saying business, they hold each other accountable. Nobody holds each other accountable. Nobody taking the leadership rule. Like I said all the time, Will Anderson and Bryce Young is not talking to leaders. They are example leaders. Someone got to step up and be the head hunter and be not dog. no dogs. You can be nasty. No but you know, like dog. But you know what? Though? You're right. I, You're hold right. on, hold on. I've been saying for the longest, fire Pete. Pete need to be fired. Yeah. Yes, true. But I can't blame Pete for the shit that happened on Saturday. Mm -mm. You scared to make a damn tackle. <laughs> But take ownership. My thing is, if you know Pete ain't going to make the right call or Bill O'Brien ain't in his bag, Bryce Young, call your own play Say We ain't going to run. At the end of the day, play football. That's my biggest issue. Like, you said, Bo, how Ruben was like, peel back, do this. Like, you got to take ownership. Be like, bro, we're going to watch Bo. We know they're going to run this quarterback draw. And let's hit they, let's hit them and, like, lay that yeah. hat. Like, set the hey, tone. Hey, man. But it's, it's like they don't care. Matt, you in Birmingham, right? Yeah. Yeah, can you send Toa Toa the link to that 707 flag league so he can go <laughs> transition to something that don't require physical damn contact? Bro, I send it to him. Hey, Bro. They need to get rid of them green mouth pieces. Yeah, but <laughs> like, just the thing, just the thing. What, that ain't why you got the mouthpiece and don't wear it though? I don't get That's that part. Saying, that, that ain't our tradition. That was going. Uh, thank you. Uh, 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 when I was this, young, this, this, I was. This. When I was young, I used to think that little mouthpiece, a different color mouthpiece. No, nah, that shit matters. I, yeah. I don't understand now. Nah. Yeah. That yeah. shit matters. You know what I mean? I'm gonna say this. You, you always. always you worried about the color of a mouthpiece instead, instead of worried about the play that you got to learn. Mm, you're right. Only, only three players from the transfer portal have panned out so far from Alabama since the transfer portal happened. Only three: Landon Dickerson, Jamison Williams. And right now, so far, Gibbs. Them the only three. So, yeah, but, why? Hey, hold on. Ever, you said ever, you said ever. Murphy hurt my feelings right now. You no, said ever. Yeah. Richard Mullaney, he was a good, he was a good transfer. I'm saying, but I'm saying, Mulaney, I'm was nice the portal too. in general. I'm saying, just yeah. the portal when the portal happened. Yeah. Hey, man. Because Mullaney, Damn, Mullaney. listen, man. Clemson and so many other teams ran that same weak ass pick route on us that they won on the two point. At what point do we stop this? You see everybody running the same dumb ass play. 
The man coming in motion. You know what they finna damn do. You know it's a damn rub route. Adjust, bump over. It ain't hard. What it ain't easy. Hell? It ain't hard. It's easy. Bruh, Alabama. I'm gonna get this off my chest. Ooh. Alabama right now. They are not having fun playing. They making football so difficult. Like the LSU game, you know you got to come out and set the tone. Like we're going to run it down their throat. Like it's and a physical exactly. game. Like you can't exactly. come out there like Del Valley at night? Bell at what, bro? We, bro, we they, live they for that, say, bro. Hey, like, Matt, they must ain't seen your catch at Del Valley. <laughs> like, I promise you. Bro, like what What are we doing? DJ, like, hey. like, like, that was DJ, first drive. DJ, <laughs> they, they didn't see doing? how you how you used to rock the baby at Death Valley. They killing him out there. Bro, yeah, man. But I want to address something on the offense, man. Y'all were talking about receivers, route running. I gotta blame some of the coaches too, because I think <clears throat> like what Coach Saban taught us, preparation, all that stuff. We gotta be on it. But like, I feel like the assistant coach is not helping them be play to their strengths or bring that dog at them. Like you look at the receivers. I, Maze, you can say this. DJ, you can say the Bo Marvin. I don't think we got a receiver that can win a one on one battle that can run a route like can, can literally mm -hmm. break somebody no. off. You know what I'm no, saying, no. DJ? Give him that hot right. 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 Hey, Matt, Matt, I, they got Matt, it. Matt, let me ask you, DJ and Marquise, this could y'all ever imagine being on an offense with the running back leading, being the leading receiver? Never, but I ain't got happen. no problem with it. But listen. No. Oh, we no, need to be. Bro. That don't work, bro. <laughs> they don't, oh, yeah, they don't whole job, work. whole job is to run the ball, bro. Yeah. Like, that's bold job, and to catch these screens. You right. feel me? That's what bold do. You feel Running me? back. Ain't Leading no way. Down. Ain't no way. Bold supposed to be making the most dynamic catches, bro. Like yeah. And that's what Gibbs do. But my thing is. If Gibbs is open and McClellan, from a football IQ coaching standpoint, like literally pop one type football, obviously the short passes are open. Like if Bryce is struggling or whatnot, you know, he's not practicing, let Melro play. Like we need mix it up. Like we come out, we're so predictable on the offensive end, on the defensive end. And it's like we have no awareness of like and i'm like what's going on on the sideline like who like coach saban would be chewing everybody out up and down like we was and that's, prepared. Listen, man, and that's like, my thing I, I don't see that is is he like i i ain't seen him throw the headset down in two man, years i'm like what's going on mm. he i need that everybody i need him, that bro. i need you to break one of them i need you to break one <laughs> yeah. and then and then you know you want to know what i hate <clears throat> every on defense and it happened on offense too Every time they make a mistake, uh, the guy catch the ball on it. They doing this, and the play no. ain't even over. <laughs> now, why are you doing this, and the play ain't even over yet? Who? It's your fault. Go make up for it. So yeah. what? He caught it. What you gonna do about it? Sure, you know what though? You, what the fuck you? I'm, you know what though? What is you looking for? I was watching the game with several Alabama alums. You know, several great Alabama former players. Okay. And one of them said, we need a spy on Daniels. I said, who you going to put on him? Toa Toa? Had him after the <laughs> put the <laughs> other Lawson. Put Jahan Campbell. Put, it's so many options. Like, this is my biggest frustration. My Alexander. Alabama. We got all this talent. And we like we have two coordinators that don't have no type of creativity to be like, man, I'm going to put Earl in the jet suite. We're going to make them cover the jet suite. Then we're going to come back. Run it down your throat like simple football stuff to change it up. Hold on, Matt. Hold on, Matt. Can, can somebody Sorry, tell me how many off. jet sweeps we've ran this year? Hold on, Zero. hold on. Listen, Zero. I want you, Zero. DJ Marquis' opinion on this. Because y'all done play slot receiver. Y'all done had to run across the middle. If teams don't fear your middle linebacker and they feel like they can run up the middle and they can run slants and digs right behind their middle linebacker, how does that open up offenses? You're right. He ain't no threat. I'm going to tell you this now. He is no threat. Yeah. Offensive coordinators <laughs> can do whatever they want with him in the middle of the field. They, they know no he's not going to stop the run up the middle. They know that they can throw slants and digs right behind him because he ain't going to get back there to cover that and he ain't going to hit nothing. So if he's that bad in there, that's the that's the, the fault of the defense and it impacts everybody else. Because it, you think about it, it's usually second and four, second and five. So you're already behind the sticks. So offensive, that's an offensive coordinated dream. He can call whatever he wants on second down now.
we can't stop the run, bro. LSU could have easily just ran the inside run down our throats. And I'm like, they gained it like six, seven yards. And I'm like, okay, ain't nobody mad? Like, you should That's be the look, Okay, thing. look, I, I see this comment down here. Whoever said that make a point. What's up with all these other five and six, seven stars we got? Play them. Play them. Yeah, yeah. What are you at? <laughs> you telling me ain't nobody better than Toa Toa? Right, come on now. Until you get a real middle linebacker on that defense, that defense is going to struggle. So goes your middle linebacker, so goes your defense. Yeah, Bruh, it's so what? frustrating. I think the biggest issue with Bama, we've been so disappointed because we former players, we've seen it. We're like, why is this not happening? Like, it's so simple. And, like, it's little things, bro. Like, it's like we're too concerned with having our back flaps out. And our jerseys rolled up. Like, forget that. Like, let's get some uniformity. Let's get the standard. Let's be disciplined. Listen, bring Go back listen, Bring back knee pads. If y'all ain't go perform, <laughs> y'all finna start back wearing knee pads. Like, let's go. <laughs> the, big one, the big long ones too. Yeah. <laughs> and DJ, what you're Marvin, saying though, DJ, not the long ones, bro. Not the long ones. <laughs> the big long ones, bro. If y'all ain't go perform, bring them back. All of what you're saying kind of is summed up in one word, pride. There isn't pride anymore. Greg McElroy said a lot of these guys don't care about Alabama. They use it and look at it as transactional. They don't view it as an honor anymore. I mean, look look at the wide receiver situation, and all you guys speak on that. Ten games in, how do you not have a wide receiver identity or you don't have an all-star guy, a guy that is a breakout dude? How how as an offense do you not have an identity? That all comes into pride. Bro, I was so frustrated Saturday. Just I've never been that frustrated during a game in a long time. Like I'll be upset, you know, but this one is just like making no sense. You'll show the replay, and what the play design makes no sense. I'm like, Bill O'Brien, why are you waiting so long for somebody to come across the middle to affect the zone? Like if you see him running the Man. zone. Man, it, it ain't even that, bro. It ain't even that, bro. It's Bill O'Brien, bro, up with the backwards hat in the booth, bro. You can't I see. Yeah, you, you blind. I mean, do you need weed or something? Because them cataracts are getting worse. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, we need them gone. We need, we we gotta get Bill out of here. I'm sorry. Get him. Like, uh, <laughs> like, like, but, but, but you like, also like, gotta what type realize. Of swag is that? There was one time when when the receiver caught the ball, almost caught it in the end zone. He catches it, bobbles it, and it goes to the LA, LSU defender's hand for a uh, touchback. How did you not catch the ball? Hit you right here. You bobble it. Oh, and no, we, it we can't you. catch now. We, we can't, can't catch. catch worth the flip. No, we can't catch. Dude, does like, that not piss you guys off? Dudes be like closing their eyes. I'm like, your hand like this. I'm like, no one, bro, attacking, no, no one attacking the ball. I think they all close their eyes. They all look like bird box characters, especially Toto. He out there blind like bird box movie. They got their eyes covered up. Can't see nothing. My God. <laughs> but I think we got to we gotta get – Coach Saban going to have to look in the mirror and be like, man, I got to get these guys, develop these guys working on their craft. And it'd be little things, bro. If our D-line just played a low man, we can we can actually reset the line of scrimmage. But they, as soon as they snap the ball, it ain't going to matter. Our middle I'm linebacker like, ain't going to make doing? the tackle. <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's frustrating. That's all I got to oh, say. I, so, 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 so. What do you think about the offensive line? Average. They're so yes. nice. So nice. Well, I need somebody to like. <laughs> like, what? Pancake? Have, do we have a pancake on the year? Like, hey, all, all of them could date my sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know they're going to keep their I'm, hands I'm clipping to themselves, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm clipping so that. Sweet. I'm telling you, man, sometimes they, you just got to just send it, bro. You just got to send the message, run it down their throat. Like, you know, you just got to send it. Now, yeah. I will say this. We ain't got no Pam Robbins and DJ Flugels in. You, know. yeah. you are right. correct. But right. I will say this, though. Watching Georgia play Tennessee, you saw Georgia execute at the highest level. They basically dismantled Tennessee with the exception of that late touchdown, which actually made the game somewhat look competitive. That was dominating defense, smothering defense. Now, why – but they put up 52 points on us and we didn't have any answers for them. Right. Makes Same thing with, with, with Georgia's offense. They did what they wanted to do to Tennessee. Yep. Right. But we struggled, couldn't do – We have no system. We have no plan. And I don't know why we keep coming out here with no plan on offense. Like, 
No type of creativity. We got all these weapons. Man, I'll be having so many packages. I'm, this, but this is a question. Hey, this this hey, is a question hey, I got with both. This is a no question idea. I got with both. Hey, both. See, do, do Kirby and Nick run the same defense? That's what of I need course. to know. Of course. Yeah. Do you not see the 425? But, but I'm, I'm looking at it, but I don't see it, though, is what I'm saying. You know why you don't see it? Because Pete run our shit, man. We got Pete. It's, 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 no, it's, it's funny. Hey, that's hey, a different oh, Marvin. We gonna run a we gonna run a four two five. That's the same. You gotta understand something, man. And, and let me tell you something. Every every coach that had left coach saving is running a four two five. Both first team to do Bo, that. DJ, you know what it is? Pete Golden, Will Muschamp. Which one you gonna damn take? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And Glenn you. Schumann. Schumann used to, and he like the coach. And, and, and you got the tactician, Glenn Schumann. Yeah, he right. like the Marvin. And we got Pete. What the hell is this shit? But Marvin. it's so simple. Yeah, he, to go back to answer, uh, to answer your question, Kirby getting them boys' ass when they Yeah, have. you got to chew them out. Okay. And, and Kirby. Kirby, Kirby had to over cup him a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I didn't see Ruben like, you know what I'm saying? I, you, you ain't going to talk to me like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I just, you know what I'm saying? But we need that. Well, you ain't yeah. you ain't got no player going back. And, like me and Cole Burns done went back and, back and forth. Right. Like, Your sister. And I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? And by me being the type of guy I am, I'm, I go up to his office the next day, you know, to, you know, to try to apologize, you know, for my actions or whatever. He tell me, oh, no, nah, bro, I like that type of shit. I've been trying right. to, I, I, <laughs> You know I, why? I've been you trying to why? get that out of players since I first got here. You and know you why? Because, me, you know, most football players in Alabama are alpha dogs. You can't yep. be no damn nice guy coaching them out. No. <laughs> no. You ain't going to get no. alphas to listen to you if you're a damn nice guy. Pete, you, guy. you want alphas right. to listen? You better be the biggest alpha in the damn room. Mm. And Marvin. the coach, to your point, the coaches got to bring the dog out of them. Like I'm like, y'all got to bring the like something. Y'all, it's something we missing that's not working. No like, enthusiasm on the sideline during the games. On the like, field, they don't celebrate. You don't see nobody in attack mode. You don't see nobody ready to kill their opponent. You don't see nobody out there celebrate. You don't hear no pads popping. Yeah, that's yeah, the friendliest damn that's football that's I've seen in the last ten years. Okay, which yep. brings us to the elephant in the room. Do you think it's the money? <laughs> I think oh, it's please open up on this. I know Marquise has something to say. I think there's so many layers to it. Maze, you can hear us, Maze? Maze, what up? Yeah, I can hear you. What? Okay. Uh, I'm Let's ready to hear from him. I'm ready to hear from, from him. Maze. Yeah, okay. he's what been my thinking? Twitter hero. Maze, it's, what? it's poetry, Maze, actually. I want to Maze, let me have, I got a question for you. Where do you think Alabama go from now? Uh, shit, I don't think it's bad, man. They, gotta, they really got a fucking leader, man. A nigga that uh put them hammers on you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got that. You could tell they ain't got that. Man, our leaders are nice guys, bro. Like. They coming out, our captains walk out linked up. Like, bro, stop holding on. Like, come out there and be like, hey, jump Maze, up and down. <laughs> like, Maze, the middle linebacker who's supposed to be the enforcer on this defense has not been subject to one targeting review in two years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and tell you everything right now. If you have never but, been suspected of targeting, you ain't laying no wood. <laughs> but you got to also understand that kid, that kid, uh, he don't fit the mold of the previous middle linebackers either. Mm-mm. Not at no. all. No. Because ain't nothing nasty about him. No. Nope. He, like he, he should be on the outside. Yeah. So it ain't all it ain't all those kids' fault. It ain't all the coaches' fault. Everybody gotta take accountability. Yeah. Uh, exactly. That's what yep. I said. So it's like, man, uh shit, man, but I just don't see no like uh, like Man, I don't. What I don't. Them players giving themselves nicknames and they taking all these pictures and shit. That's that's just yeah. weird to me. You gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta take them phones out their hand, man. Thank you, man. Hey, they ain't and hunting. Joy, and Joy, Joy, I, I, Joy Battle was, you know, one of my favorite guys in the guy, man. And, and, and I hate mm-hmm. to say, man, but he, he's not. What I thought he was gonna. He, he's embarrassing the Robert Lelses and the Mark Barron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
you know, yeah. the, uh, the dogs, the, 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 the Roman and, Harpers. You know I mean, yeah. the guys, you come the uh, dumb Deontay Thompson, them guys who gonna come down, you just see them come out of nowhere, boom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ryan Harris and those type of guys. We ain't even, we ain't even said, hey, can't forget hey, that boy Hootie I Jones, though. That boy Hootie, yeah, but. They not hungry, man. That that's a part of it. You can't blame it all on NIL because schools like George and other schools are they still doing NIL at, a, at a high yeah. level. But I'll tell yeah. you this: I got to Alabama as a freshman in nineteen eight uh nineteen ninety eight. I had a nineteen eighty nine uh, uh Honda Prelude with a badass transmission. It, it might work one day, it might not. But you best believe. I knew what my way out was, and I went out there and I said hell on fire when I went on that damn field because I yeah. knew for me to get to where I needed to be. It's going to be me out here kicking folks' asses and denting their shit up on this damn field. You don't see that no more. These yeah. boys, they, they too casual. They too casual. Yeah. Y'all playing in loafers? You, you ain't got no damn shit <laughs> done. This ain't business casual. This is a damn full contact sport. And we Man, are I ain't not seen John Banner lay the boom. We ain't getting forces. We get our ass handed to us every week. And he then the kickoff, we kick it off. He is trying to go for it. He trying to strip the ball. I ain't never mm. seen Robert Lewis or, or, or Mark Barrett strip the ball. No, I ain't never yeah. seen that. Now nah, they separated people from the ball by hitting them with physical. Exactly. <laughs> so I gotta ask a question. For weeks now, fans been asking for you guys to go back in the locker room Man, and speak to the current class. players. So I want to know what your honest opinion is, Mays. Yeah. I heard you say this on Twitter. They not gonna like how we talk. Coach won't have a team when some of us are done. Nope. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Let me hear it from you. Well, can I say? But let me. Can I say this before they give their opinion, Justin? Well, you you started off. Go ahead. Marquis Mays, DJ Hall, and Matthew ain't had to come back and tell us. We knew mm-hmm. the end because they left the mark. All thing we had to say was Look, this, throw them foes up. This is what I'm gonna say about y'all. y'all. This, this is what I respect about y'all, Bo. Y'all knew prior history, bro. Like, yep. like, like how we knew Marvin them and 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 Freddie Millens and all them. We respected that. Like, yeah, y'all knew that, bro. You you knew me. Uh, you well, you was a freshman when you knew me. You told me to my play, bro. You my favorite player. You told me that. <laughs> yeah. I remember that, bro. These, yeah. these folks don't they don't know history. They just trying to get in and be gone, bro. That's yeah. it. They don't know, like, man, I can't let DJ down, man. I can't. Right. Let- down. I can't yep. let Amar cool down. I can't let Matthew down. I can't let May down. Yep. I can't let Marvin down. These boys built the legacy for me to be here. These yep. boys built this facility. What 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 y'all what y'all uh, what we have y'all didn't have, and what right. they have we right. didn't have because right. y'all built it for yep. us and we built it for them. Right. You know and they haven't won anything yet. Mm-hmm. And they they you know, living off they living off the past. They're living off that past, bro. And, then, and that's what I hate. You have to set you have to set your standard. You have to lay your stones down enough for the next people to come in and be like, oh, it been passed down for so long. Oh now, oh, it didn't stop that 2022. Now, okay, so now I guess we're supposed to be soft and play two man touch and not and not hit the guy in the upside the head. Oh, we don't have to tell this guy that and then we're just some such nice guys, so he's gonna go tell man. Fuck all that. You I'm don't want me. Don't want me. Go over there. Uh, uh, UCLA, what they what all oh, they going on there? So, <laughs> we, down south, we, we play dirty. We foot physical. <laughs> they don't want me to go to the locker room and talk to them because the moment one of them roll their eyes and say some slick shit to me, I'm not going to get hands on with that because I ain't even <laughs> <have> done. <laughs> you know, so it's probably best if I don't go because I've been to shook a few of them till they got the point of understanding what I'm here yeah. to talk about. But we need that heat, though. You got to understand some man. I watched Bennett play. I watched Lemansky play. I watched Copeland and Curry play. I watched yep. all these dudes play before me. So I knew when my shot came, I was going to take full advantage of it. And yep. anybody who got in front of me was subject to pay the damn price. These boys yep. don't have that mentality, man. So yep. I've been and shook a few of them, then I'd be banned from campus. So I'm just going to stay over here at home. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well look, 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 Marvin. So all you have to do, you say it, and I just translate it for him. 
Nah, nice words. Well, I said myself. I go. I go. Say it myself. I don't need no trans because I don't want nothing lost in translation. I want to <laughs> understand that they play soft as wet toilet tissue. I think a lot of them squat the damn pee, and, 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 and they need to let their nuts hang and realize what they hit the damn do. Them boys. Them boys can't even play. Them boys can't even play hurt, man. Listen, I played the LSU game on a fresh torn MZL. French they ain't got, they definitely they, ain't got that. They got that dog. No, no. They definitely ain't got that. Him. They don't even have accountability. I even from the, I can't go today, coach. <laughs> even from the leadership council, there is no accountability. I, I think it was either uh, Byron Young or Will Anderson said this week that one of the problems is there's too many individuals on this team too, that are too concerned about building their own brand. Okay, the way I look at it is that's your fault. You're 10 games in. That should have been squashed a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah. This isn't some new thing. We've been seeing it. And we've been say, telling y'all for two years now, but you've done nothing about it. Just like at every press conference, I say this over and over again. All we get is the Sunday school answers. Same They're supposed answer. to appease us like we're some st stupid fans who hey, don't know what's hey, going on. Hey, hey, Justin. And then when you hey. guys say the same thing, everybody looks at y'all like y'all crazy. Y'all <laughs> played the damn game. <laughs> hey, man, I'll tell you something, man. We got to get Cornelius to with one again. thing, man. We're going to have to get Cornelius on. So I was a red shirt freshman, you know, starting middle linebacker. I had all these seniors on my D-line, him, Jamie Carter, a few of them. I used to chew their asses. One day, Kanees turned around and said, man, I'm going to need you to calm down. I said, I'm going to calm down. We don't what the hell we supposed to do. I think Kanees wanted to fight me that day. But I wasn't backing down from him, though. You got to be it, yeah. If you ain't fighting with your teammates and y'all ain't having words, you ain't leading them properly. Man, hey. Hey. We got hey, you say what, say what you want to about Rolando. That's how he came in as a freshman. Crazy. Running. Everything. Crazy. Everything. Yeah. Question from the audience from Steven Sorrell. Hey, do you guys think the players <laughs> watch enough film based on how they play? They can't. They can't. They, they can't. on Twitter. I see it. I'm well, like, well, 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 here's my thing. Watching film isn't going to make you open your eyes to see balls and make tackles. Film doesn't You got to work on your crowd. <laughs> That's me all want to. Me and Bo they watching watch film. They they watching film. Uh, Instagram and it, uh, uh, <laughs> Twitter. <TikTok. film. laughs> What'd you say, Matt? Man, I'm like they too busy on social media. I'm like back in the day, me and Bo, man, we'd be watching receiver highlights. Oh, we're gonna use this how to break this on this cover. I'm gonna break this DB. That's off. what we did. Okay. Me, me and Matt was roommates, bro. We watched other films, bro. Like we watched films. We working on our crafts. We working on our <laughs> hand eye coordination. We working on. We ain't play no PlayStation or none of that, bro. We watched films. We used to take VCR tapes home, <laughs> bro. We used to take VCR. Watch. I would watch film at home when I'm I'm free at home. I just watching film. Coach would give us the tapes. Take, take them. Go do what you need to do. Got some free time? Watch film. Know what the hell? What? Know what's going on. Be in the moment. They're not in the moment. I want to bring up this question right here. Steve Dean is asking, can we salvage Bama's season if we get Toa Toa out of lineup? That's a good question. Talking about salvaging the season. For the first time in years, we don't have that title to play for. So where is the mindset of these guys? If they can't get it together with title hopes, how are they going to be motivated to finish this season out when it's just prior to play for us? That's why I a whole ask lot of where do we go right next? now. Wait, That's hold why on. I, where do what, we Bo? Go? That's why I had asked Marquis Mays the question, where do we go from here? Home? All right. Marvin, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to see a whole lot of meatball from here. You're going to see some guys who feel like, you know, they're going to go to that next level, probably pull up, you know, preserving themselves. You know, you 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 know, because yeah, they already get money, so it ain't like they they missing nothing. So play yeah. them young guys, play the freshmen. Exactly. That's what I say. I say play them other other five and four stars. Play other man, play. You can't but, tell me we don't have anybody better than Toa Toa, man. I'm sorry. Listen, man. I know I keep talking about this, but when he was in that hole on the goal line, two yards in the backfield, one yard in the backfield, and he closed his eyes and he dived and eating damn dirt while this man cut and go in and go score. I was like, this is the epitome of everything I've been saying for the last two years. This shit was an embarrassing as hell. You closed your eyes and dove in the damn dirt. Have you? Can you think of one other middle linebacker in the nope. history of Alabama football in the last 30 years that has done something like that? But this is the frustrating part. We the eye in the sky don't lie. We seeing this, the coaches seeing this, and they still put them back out there in the same place. 
that's the most disappointing. I ain't gonna lie to you. It go back to that the other players probably doesn't. Listen, know man, I, I can't tell y'all no lie, man. I took LSU in the point, so I won like six hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I knew at some I, point I we were gonna hear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Matt. Hey, that's how I felt about Tennessee. I said we lost, but I won on the point. <laughs> hey, now, nah, now, nah, Matt, I'm gonna say, yeah, this, this is where Saban loyal to a fault, man. Too loyal to a fault, man. To certain he's, dudes, you can't have yeah. that. You this, can't this, do this that. Forever. I think he's he's gambled on. Um, I say this, and I ain't gonna talk bad about Coach Saban because he didn't help me so much. But I think he's got a lot of yes men around him, and he ain't got nobody to tell him, Coach, like this ain't working, like. Bill O'Brien not good. Demote him. Let somebody else call the plays. When Pete Golden started doing crazy stuff, Coach Saban, just call the defense. That's why I respect Kirby. You can tell when when Kirby, you watch Georgia, when the offense started running and they had like a bad series, Kirby be like, move out the way. I'm going to call the defense. Like, at some point, we got to do this that way we can win the game and get off the field. We got to make some type of adjustments. It's got to be some type of change to us not having the same mistakes and getting whooped, being so predictable. Yeah, it's called put people on the unemployment lunch. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> well, do it. From a team aspect, play the young guys. You know, Luke Sean saying play the damn freshmen. We got some wide receivers there who are blazers. Isaiah Bond, uh, <laughs> for one. Prentice. <laughs> Yeah, Prentice, uh, Christian, Christian Pre- Leary. Kendrick Law, bro. Kendrick Law could be our Debo Samuel. And we don't – I'm like, do we not even have a package for him? Like, it's, it's We don't no. have a package for anything. We have no. backyard football. Play how look, fun. Like, work look, on your crowd. Bro, I, I am so disappointed at Jermaine Burton. It ain't even funny, bro. Why that's is he still that's primary receiver? That's he what I don't get off with. That's what I don't get off He don't even run routes. He jogs he routes. And then he looked he... back at Bryce Young like, are you going to throw me the ball now? Well, you know, that's probably why Georgia said go. Here y'all go. Y'all want it? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Tennessee, you want to throw it, throw it? Here you go. You got it. <laughs> so, Might be I got to ask you, how big of a ball does Saban drop by not – going after Jordan Addison, allowing him to escape and go to USC? Because it didn't look like he had properly evaluated Tyler Harrell or Jermaine Burton. I mean, you can have Jordan Addison, but if we're not going to use him, like, what's, <laughs> yeah. what's the yeah. purpose? Like, we got so much talent and we're not using them. Now I have so many packages. Like, I'm going full wide. I'm going to be – I'm I'm going to keep defenses on their heels. Look, this is this my thing. What a, what a tight end is that? Thank you. I don't know. Well, every time Latu gets the ball, he fumbles. Yeah, I'm, not him. He, I'm tired of watching him fumble. What are, what are the rest of them? Man? We got a freshman. Oh, he did block. all right. But we're going to play him or not. Hey, hey, Amari not black. The yeah, the absolutely. Block, bro. They on the block. We got so wow. many weapons that we're not using. It's, that's the frustrating part for me. So, Is, yeah. is Trey Saunders still hurt? Brad. No, he's healthy, we, but he hadn't sniffed the field. We got horses and not using them in the running back. Like, we got horses. You could use like, all four of those guys. Jamarian Miller, Trey Saunders. Like, if Jamarian we call Miller is a beast. If we get, I'm like, if we get past the 30, we need to be running the ball downhill with Trey Saunders, Miller, Rodell Williams. You know what I'm saying? Let them guys, we need to get physical and try to get in the end zone or like. I, we don't do none of that stuff. We, it's like we run, we get away from the pat running game so fast. We might have a successful run, break off six yards, eight yards. It'll be second and two. We come back and call five straight passes. Like, or like, hey, 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 or Matt, like, Matt, hey, man, and, and, and then and then they cue Bill O'Brien the booth. Hmm. What, right. like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, or Jason McClellan who had an eighty-plus yard run didn't see him again. I think the rest of the night. After that one big that big play, what happened to giving the ball to the guy with the hot hand? Isn't the hot hand. Did? Feed him. Feed him. That's football right. one-on-one. Giving the running backs 15 carries cumulative is not going to get a running back hot. At all. It, I'm big old you got, you got to have creative minds <laughs> to bring out uh, the best. My backwards like, hat look good, y'all. I, 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 I did. I did it. 16 Unless you both. yards. 180 yards. Oh, man, it was 
Bowden couldn't get enough carries, in my opinion. <laughs> like, Bo had, but, but, but see, Bo, Bo, you had that tradition running through you, bro. That, like, you know what I'm saying? You that that's different, bro. You care about you, you. You actually care about Bama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that ain't even these boys. Right. Don't care, they, these they boys do. get that money and they getting up out of here. They might transfer tomorrow. It don't matter. I just remember when Bo went off against Washington in the in the Peach Bowl because I was there watching that. After the game had ended, I'm just looking at just how passionate Tim Williams was. Tim is by himself in the confetti just going crazy. I'm like, Tim, what's up? Tim said, man, I'm at Bama. We just won. We killed they soul, bruh. Ah. It's like these guys don't even pay for each other, man. I'm like, where's the camaraderie? No, man, where's they're the brotherhood? They're just using this as a stepping stone to the NFL, especially the guys in the portal. They don't care about Bama. They don't care about the history, tradition. They sure yeah. as hell don't care about playing Auburn or Tennessee or any of that stuff. Right. That right. Y'all, y'all had ingrained into you as y'all are growing up and coming through the system. And we ain't got no goons. I say even Jamison Williams was a transfer porter guy. But he got he he brought, a goon. him and Magic. There was, was some goon. goons. They were gonna set the tone. They oh, were yeah. in your face. You know what? Noise. So you know what? Hold on. Landon it's funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Steve. It's funny yeah. you brought him up, Matt. Jamison last year got ejected from a game for targeting. Yeah. Why receiver? But our old middle linebacker has never even been subject to a damn targeting review. <laughs> <laughs> so we got wide receivers who've been ejected for targeting. Laying that hat. <laughs> Bruh, Le- Landon Dickerson used to embarrass people and then poke fun at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah <bro>. he was. <laughs> Bro, no you got to have some dogs, man. Football is a dog sport. You got to be tenacious. You got to have some tenacity. You can't yeah. be – you can be a nice guy off the field, but you got to be a killer. Look, the you, you, you at a- least – look, I, I know y'all want the smart, intelligent guys, but you need a couple <laughs> you need 1.8, 2.0s, bro. <laughs> yeah. you, you need them, bro. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, you hey, need hey, them. Hey, hey, DJ, I was just about to say that, too. <laughs> You need some goons. We ain't got no goons. Hey. You need the linebacker who smoked no new poles, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> we need some goons, man. Like, we ain't got – we got nothing but nice guys. I'm like, well, hey, Anderson, what? like, you should be chewing everybody out. Like, the defense – I'll be like, man, I'm the D coordinator, Pete Golden. Like, I run this. Right. Like, it's like Mike McCoy like, always says, we need two church need boys it. and three gangsters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can't win with nice guys, man. I, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the work. bottom line, work. man. Hey, Big Saban always said, Ruben Foster wasn't no candy striper. Man. <laughs> man, I used to love watching them guys play, man. You got to be physical, man. We just not feel – and we missed so many tackles, bro. I watched in Georgia – they play with body leverage every play, and they hit. They don't miss no tackles, bro. Right. Bama, we hey. out of plays. We oh, dive. In Georgia. Toa, toa diving on the ground. We soft. We trying to dive. We lunging. For uh, hey. Hold on. Correction. Real quick. Correction. Toa Toa was usually five yards down the field, getting drove back by the guard. Of the getting tackle. blocked. Like, he gets and blocked on purpose. They let him go. <laughs> and then once they let him go, he just dives on the pile. <laughs> Man, I, remember, I remember when Dante used to come through and kill that guard. Man. Speaking of Georgia, uh, Marvin, I got to give you this quote. It's from your former teammate, Reggie Grimes. He said, I'm not sure what everyone is up in arms about. I watched a dominating, suffocating, disciplined Bama defense control the game today. Unfortunately, they were wearing Georgia uniforms. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That was the mic drop yeah. from the entire weekend. Yep. Kirby Smart, okay. man. Will Muschamp. Them yeah. two right there. Glenn yep. Schumann. And Schumann. Doc Cogger. Yep. Yes, Ooh, they got, got over there that's going to get in their ass, that's going to motivate them, that's going to play, and they're going to play to those coaches' energy. How yep. can you not play for Will Muschamp? He got right. the glasses down. He, what kind of impact is week? not having Scott okay. Cochran not have not on the team him. right now? If we don't have a Scott Cochran, I'm like, Coach, say, our strength coach need you need to be trying to create one. Like, your sole job is to have my boys crunk 24 7 ready to yeah. play. That's not the these science guys. I don't need no I'm so sick of that science stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. Science guys didn't play football. Man, I need some dog. At the end of the day, football is so simple, man. It's 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 physical. You run the ball, you control the line of scrimmage, you make plays. You know, it's we making it so difficult, and that's like the frustrating part for me. So 
And it ain't gonna get no easier because because Lane, Lane, Kiffin, Lane Kiffin licking his chops right now. Listen, LSU is the easiest that. offense to defend. Like they, Lane, they Kiffin, offense Lane, so Kiffin the, Lane Kiffin finna run so many jet sweeps. Oh man. my! Oh. And he finna get the edge on that deep. He's and gonna run they, that ball. They are gonna run the ball. They got two running backs that can run down your throat. One is from Alabama. Wow. Yeah. Quinshawn Juckins, right out of Alabama. We're see Toa Toa squinting a whole lot more, sadly. Yeah, we need to get back to evaluating talent, guys, instead of going for the stars or the right. whoever. We need to look at some dogs and see. Is, can Hold on. Was hunt? Toa Toa can five star on what scale? What, what, man. what, what, what scale <laughs> what, was that? Man, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you who scale was that. That was probably Yahoo scale. No Yahoo. Man, listen. Man. If we're all <laughs> Stephen F. Smith, let me you a voter, Stephen. Let me find out if you voted for Toa Toa to be a damn <laughs> that wasn't me. That, Let me bruh, find out you voted bruh, for him, Steve. Bruh, I'm taking bruh. your I'm taking all your look, 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 hey, look. That's that's crazy. Crazy. that wouldn't even be, bro. That wouldn't even me. He, I talk about we talk about that man, but he know in the back of his mind, he he definitely going second round. Right? I mean, he know he gone. Gone Sim what? Hey, Simply because what CFL Nick, go, Nick gonna make sure he go, bro. I promise you that. Man, DJ, listen, bro. Nah. DJ. I have several that friends. Go on. Go on. Second round, bro. Bro. I, I have be several, second round, bro. Hold on. I have several friends that coach and scout in NFL. It ain't happening, homeboy. They all know that, <laughs> that is the weakest link. They know. I want to ask you. We gonna see. We gonna I wanna see. ask y'all questions. We gonna see. <laughs> I want to speaking of the NFL. I want to ask a serious question. Y'all might not like it, but. Now that we have nothing to play for, does Will Anderson and Bryce Young make a business decision and decide to sit down? I don't think it's in their character to do that, but some of their teammates, yep. Not them two. No, not them two. But some of their teammates, oh, I can see that. I don't think any of them are going to do it. In regards to why would they do it anyway? It it ain't but two on first round, so why would they do it? (laughs) Right. Of course, we're going to have to clean house co- coaching staff wise. The first thing that comes to my mind that we need to do is get guys back in the fold to understand the Bama culture. First name on my list is Bo Davis. Who do y'all bring in? Who's going to be on your short D'Amico list? D'Amico Rines. D'Amico Rines. D'Amico Rines. Move Freddie to coach linebackers or bring Marvin to come in. I'm going to say this. Like a young- Young Joe ain't going nowhere. Hey, <laughs> that's what I was about to Let ask. Go. Everybody keeps talking about Let, that. Is he going to leave? You gotta. You gotta yeah. If you don't, if you if you don't try, I'll at least at least you give me effort. At least try. At least try to make a phone call. And be like, man, Miko about to be a head coach. Miko ain't trying to hit. Yeah, that. He, I know. he ain't going but back. He has a fan. I want him. That's another aspect. You talking about head coach? Whoever we hire may be considered to be the next successor to Coach Saban. So who do you trust to put on that assistant coaching staff that could be considered to be the next head coach for Alabama? Lane, Lane Kiffin. Well, I'm, I'm for that. I'm talking about Lane ain't know, coming back to be no assistant. It, it'd be it, it'd be Sweeney. His hey. buyout is stupid. You ain't got them sixty million dollars laying around. That's gonna yeah. that's gonna hurt. But but why leave a program where you already cast the shadow for people to live up to and, and come here where you're constantly compared to Nick Saban? And I'll tell you this: I go to Clemson quite often. You know what Dabo has on his staff more than anything else? Bama guy. Guys that played at Clemson. Yep. With a sprinkle of guys that played in Bama. If the majority of his staff either A played at Clemson or B played at Alabama. But you know they they don't want us back like that, man. Yeah, we, they too high, they too Hollywood, Bone. They too they high class. Want, they don't want us back like that, bro. They, man, I, I'm a I'ma say this though. For this secondary, get rid of Charles Kelly's pension. Go bring back Derek Ansley. Go bring yeah. Derek Ansley back in here, man. Get some guys that can develop your talent and bring and bring that toughness and physicality in them. Bring that beast out of them. That's my whole thing. So what's been the biggest uh, drop-off between Alabama and Georgia in terms of handling this NIL business? Georgia has as much, as much access and resources to NIL as we do. Why are they not having a problem that we seem to be having that problem? Coaches! <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's it. Again, yep. you and have to be and, and, go and, nowhere. No and time play, to play a role in it, too. Listen, and man, also, I want to see Pete's job opportunities after this season. Please let me see. He should already been demoted. I'm gonna say this also: Georgia is hitting on recruits that hit they that fit their culture. They hitting on them. 
but it's not just a black and white answer. Like Georgia got NIL, but they got a culture. They got coaches that develop. They go out and recruit, but they can develop their talent. And I feel like we just got some guys that don't know anything about Bama. They can recruit. They can get stars, but they're not developing the guys and bringing the best out of them. So, Matt, uh, Matt I'm going to call you Matthew. 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 <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter if they don't know the culture and the history of Alabama. We get that. There's going to be yeah. these guys. Recruiting has shifted. But if you're getting the number one recruiting class every year, how are you not coaching them up when you get there? Again, yep. that's what it comes back to. Yep. If you don't coach them up, it doesn't matter how many damn stars they are. That's what Georgia does well. They coach yep. these guys up. How often do you turn on a game for Georgia and you see Muschamp in a kid face? He don't care if it's a five-star, three-star, two-star. He is in their faces. He let them know what time it is. Every time you look at Pete, he got the advisor room looking down at, at a piece of paper looking confused as hell, okay? <laughs> but that goes back to preparation and practice. Yep. You do and that usually, in the games, that's the same crap you do And usually in that's unlike Saban. Like, it, it's usually Saban is on everything. Like, he on his coaches, you got to be on everything. But it's like we're not seeing it right now. So, I don't know. I'm wondering if Pete got some dirt on him or something. You got man. <laughs> some. Look, I think man, they got an inside man. job trying to get look, 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 man, Matt, Matt, Marvin, y'all. Saban ain't even throwing paper and water bottles in press conferences no more. Man, like, he, he was always mm -hmm. doing for a water bottle at somebody, throw paper at somebody. He ain't even doing that no more. Now, Greg McElroy made this statement. I want to get y'all's thoughts on, on it. Uh, he said the modern day player mindset will eventually push Nick Saban to retirement. I said he'll retire in the next two years. He's not as anal not as vocal as he used to be yeah. man yeah. you know you know he's getting older you can only yell so long mm -hmm. before your voice go away before that throat go out on you yeah. you know that's anybody you know you get tired of it and and the stress and the pressure why would he have to deal with all that when he got all these houses he could be on the lake on the beach somewhere enjoying his, his vacation time opposed to having to deal with kids that don't want to listen and and, and and coaches that just do whatever they want to do and then a fan base that go crazy when 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 shit ain't going right. Right. But it's little things, bro. We bad at the little things, bro. It's like we're horrible it's so, at them. We're horrible at them. Like we can't even play football, bro. We came out of timeout and still had twelve men on the field. Like twice, like, twice. What's going on? I, obviously, <laughs> our system is too complex. We need to dumb it down or something, or the players take ownership or something. Like it's I don't know. New pay fiasco, baby. What'd you say? I said, Lou pay fiasco. Dumb it down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, like what this. about Dion as a head coach? Well, they'll be close to Mississippi. They'll be in Shreveport for the Independence Bowl. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't mind Coach Prime here. Maybe Nashville, Music he City Bowl. He'd probably kick yeah. off half the guys hey, right now. Hey, 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 Mar I, Marvin. I, like Marvin. I take Nashville now. Well, Marvin, I'm, I'm keeping all hope for Charlotte, the Belk Bowl. <laughs> well, well, well here, here's the reality of it. You know how, how it goes. And the way things have shaped up, it doesn't look like the SEC will get two teams in the playoffs. So it'll be based upon record and seeding. So you'll have Georgia at the top, followed by LSU potentially, maybe Tennessee then Ole Miss. So you're looking at Alabama being in the fifth, potentially sixth spot, depending upon what happens this Saturday against Ole Miss. You're the fifth, sixth spot in the SEC. You're going to a trash-ass bowl. Yep. I, yep. Please don't end up in Birmingham. Birmingham Bowl Champ. <laughs> Get the shirts <search> ready. <laughs> you, if you're in that fifth or sixth spot in the SEC, it's usually a trash bowl because the one, the 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 winner will go to the playoff. The runner-up will go to Sugar the Bowl. Sugar bowl. Sugar bowl. Right, and then you got the 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 Capital One Bowl. They Pitcher might bowl, go to that, yeah. or maybe the Gator Bowl. But that'll be that top four. Beyond that four spot, oh, you looking at Shreveport, Nashville, Charlotte, Birmingham. Birmingham. <laughs> hey, well, let's well, talk about going hey, for it as we. At least, about, at least if it's Birmingham, a good forty-five minute drive for me. <laughs> Shoot, half the people will opt out. Right. Let's talk about going forward as we kind of close up now. Where where does Alabama go from here? The, what Alabama team shows up Saturday against Ole Miss? Ole Miss still has everything to play for, so I fully expect them to be firing on all cylinders. We couldn't stop uh, Lane when we had some had something to play for. Justin, Pete so, Golding is our defensive coordinator. Lane Kiffin <laughs> is going to exploit him. Well, I'm not just looking at the defense. I'm looking at the team as a whole. What is their mindset? Not do good. do we actually go in there and be Bama? And take care of business 
oh, we're just going to go through the motions. Honestly, for the first time as a Bama fan, don't know the answer to that question. So what do you guys see happening in Oxford this weekend? I'm going to let y'all go first. They're going to look at Bryce and be like, hey, bro, can you bail us out one more time? (laughs) I think you'll see a lot of going through the motions because, again, you'll see a lot of these guys worried about that next step in their career, you know, what's next for them. And the fact that you've already lost two games, so you know you're not in contention for the SEC championship game. You know the playoffs is no longer an option. So whereas they've had this culture of me ball all year, now the, the, the formula has really evolved to the point to where it's all me ball because they aren't playing for anything. And again, they're looking at a trash ass bowl. So yeah, guys, are, you know, these older guys, why am I going to go out and get myself hurt to go play in Birmingham, Shreveport? Charlie, you know, so I think you're going to see a lot of me ball because I don't see them making improvements unless they make personnel changes and coaches changes. If those two things stay the way they've been this whole time, the same result, same result. All right, Matt, you want to take it? Yeah, I mean, if we don't, if we, I mean, to your point, man, these guys, we watch the film, the eye in the sky don't lie. And if these guys not getting it done, and we come out there and do the same thing, call the same plays, no personnel changes, no coaching changes. You know, I, I hate to say it, man. I expect to see uh, the same result, but I hope not. You know, I'm gonna try to be positive and, you know, be that guy. But man, it's it's, it's frustrating, man. I, I, we gotta we gotta make something new happen. DJ, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm going fish. <laughs> that's a lot I of way too much money these bad two hey, weeks. Hey, 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 DJ Trout, that's bad, a good fish. Man, I done lost so much money these two weeks because I, I be talking so much trash. I done lost so much money. You should have seen that last you in the I'm, points, baby. Come on now, you know better. You this can't Saturday, with the I'm, you I'm, be, with I'm, be, I'm gonna be so peaceful this Saturday. I'm going on the water. <laughs> you smart man. Now I'm a, I'm a, I, look, I ain't going to turn my back on them because we, yeah. at the end of the day, we Bama Sci-Fi. I don't yeah. know how to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. these people on this screen, we Bama Sci-Fi. Yeah. At the end of the day, we look at it a lot different. Like, I, I can't turn my back on them. I want them to do their job. But realistically, I'm I'm just, who going who gonna to make me believe? That's what I want to know. DJ, I'm not turning my back on them. I just refuse to put my blue bills behind them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. I ain't bet no more. <laughs> Listen, I've been cleaning house, bro. I took Tennessee in the points the first uh, against Tennessee. I, I've been, I've been killing it. I'm done, bro. <laughs> I bet with my brain, not with my heart, man. Come on, <laughs> you know, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. I left you last for bro? a reason, man. What you got? Man. What what happens? What do we see? Bo, you've been in this system, bro. Give give it to us, bro. You know this I'm, system. But they had a different mindset. It's not giving, the same player. I've been giving it to you since day one, since the beginning of the season. Man, listen, them players got to take control, and they and somebody got to stand up and bring them boy together and tell them, like, hey, we playing for our identity. We got to have our identity of our team, man. Everybody got to do their job, play their part, play your role, do what you're supposed to do. If you only got one job, you better do it and do it well. Don't worry about nobody else's job. I remember back in the day when um, Dalvin was trying to do something out of the ordinary and John Adam turned around and told him, control your effing gap. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it was just that easy. And in the next play, he was – in the right position, we don't. That's what we need. We got. We, we need guys to lock it down, get dirty and, and and nasty, focus, get in their playbook, and go out there and play Alabama football and be in the right position at the right time. We need some guys to lay the boom. We need them. They need to get their confidence back. A lot. I think a lot of <laughs> lost their confidence, so we need to get our confidence back. You had to have it to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen M. Smith. It ain't too late. It ain't too late, bro. It's not too late. I feel like I'm watching the Wizard of Oz. Damn cowling line. <laughs> Stephen M. Smith, I know you have to give the upbeat take, you know, uh, for your job. Man, but what in your gut. Take, man. Look. But actually, I, you've been I on fire here been, lately. So I have never been politically correct, sir. I've always been known as the son of controversy. <laughs> <laughs> you got them down my glasses, man. 
Look, look, man. I've always been known as a son of controversy since birth. So here we go. But yeah, as an analyst, the leading analyst in Alabama football, what do you see happening this weekend? I just told you they, they're asking for Bryce Young to bail them out. I'm telling you, they, they look they look for Bryce to bail them out. They, I mean, the receivers look around, the running backs look around, the offensive line let folks all lay through. And they saying, Bryce, you the special one. Bail us out. Even even Bill O'Brien sit up there eating yep. popcorn. Like, Bryce, bail me out. I'm terrible. <laughs> bail me out, though. God awful. Bail me out. When I, man, when, when I see Bryce throw them balls to them boys and they drop the ball and Bryce start laughing, in my head, I'm thinking Bryce is like, man, I'm going to be out of here on y'all. I promise <laughs> you. I promise you. Can you blame him? I he don't they, they, drop, they drop a lot of balls. And if you... If you drop that ball with Brody, even with oh, John man, Parker, they you, you out. say what you want, Ooh. even with John Parker, John or Parker AJ was McCarran. a quiet dude. Even he going to get on your ass about dropping that ball. I'm telling you. Yep. I'm, te- I'm, te- I'm telling y'all, man, I want to see Bama take care of Ole Miss this weekend because I, I will be there. But I'm just saying this. This is the first time where Bama's had a quarterback as special as Bryce Young and nobody helping him. Nobody like Ja'Cory Brooks. The receivers are non-existent. The offensive line, he running for his life. And you literally got Bill O'Brien up here for, for, for crying out loud. Bill is the first coordinator that's not on the field. He in a booth somewhere. If everybody else can get chewed out, Bill, you a man, take it. Like, right. this is the first yeah. time I've ever seen a coordinator. Is he up there getting high, drunk, watching tip drill videos? Like, what is Bill O'Brien <laughs> doing? He obviously not looking at the defense. <laughs> or what they Great about question. to run. <laughs> they zone blitzed us all night. Bro, they run the same blitz, bro. It's so predictable, bro. I'm like, yeah, this, they, man, run they pistol, so run our formation. Man. Like, change it up, bro. It's so frustrating. But I'm going to leave it at that, man. All right. Well, let's start to wind it down. I'm going to go around the room, get get the score. Start with Stephen Smith. What's your score for this weekend? Man, why do you have to start out with me, oh, man, of man. all people? <laughs> Golly, here we go. People listen Lane, to you. I guess Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin, man. Don't get anxiety. I'm not, Hey, look. <laughs> that's on them. That ain't on me. That's on them. 28-17, man. Who? 28-17, Bama. They, 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 they okay. eke it out. 28-17. Matt Cadell. Man. Woo. I ain't, I'm going to be positive. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what I want to say. Why not? You're the perfect place to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to be, we ain't going to be beating them by no 10 points. And if we do win, it'll be like by one point or two points or less than three. That's all. Because Lane going to score points. Uh, if, if Pete Golden called the same plays and Bill O'Brien, uh, Shoot, man. Well, man, we we just gonna we we just gonna be Bill out of this, man. Bill in a booth, Matt. I don't know what he's doing up there, man. man I, candy I, Crush. Something's <laughs> got to change, but I hope they. I say this, you know, I think the game will be close, which is all games. Bam on the road. Um, you know, hopefully we'll pull it out. You know, we we won't get too analytical and go for it. Go two for two point two two point conversions. We just take the points, and hopefully our defense can get it. But uh, I can say 34-32 Alabama. Mm, tight one. Uh, okay, DJ? okay. Okay, so, Matt, so what you're saying is you're going to have me in the press box shaking with Sprite in my hand. I got of you. Of course. That's, yeah. that's a, you're going to be a uh, – I ain't going to spoil it for you. But hopefully Bama pull it out. That's what I'm going to say. I'm, I got to get home now, Matt. I got to get <laughs> home now. I'm, I'm going 38 35. We, uh, I think the kicker will save us. He's our only hope right now. He's been yeah. right, right, I, 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 I can dig it. Right. Okay. Well, my, guess what my predicament was. I, I think we're going to win by a field goal, man. 38 35, man. Marvin, you're the last, last guy to speak. Week, I said, what? 37 34. I was close. Very close. Very 30, 35. 30, he took my 38 35. Now. Here's what you got to realize. Oh. Last year against Ole Miss, Lane made some dumbass coaching decisions early in the game, going for it on fourth down when he should have punted the ball, costing his team points. 
I don't think Lane's going to make that same mistake twice. I think he's going to be a lot more in tune to the game and realize that, hey, if it's fourth and whatever, I need to punt to give my team a fighting chance. With his running backs, his quarterbacks, his wide receivers, he knows he can stretch the Alabama defense. He knows this. He knows he can run the ball up the middle. And when they start running that ball up the middle, they're going to have to walk that safety down in the box to give support to that run game. Mm. At which point, you'll start to see him then run screen, and then you'll see the screen and go. It's like a game of chess, baby. This is That's yep. how it goes. That's how a great offensive coordinator sets up plays. Yep. So by the time he gets to where he's running that screen and go or that slant and go, our ass is in trouble. <laughs> so Bryce is going to have to come to play. Yep. I'm going 51-48. Oh, Bama or Ole Miss? You cut out. I couldn't hear you. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 now, Justin, <gasps> Justin, Justin, I'm going to take this thought here from William Mack, who was talking about Jim McElwain and Doug Nussmeyer call plays in the booth, too. At least McElwain was creative. You got to be creative, man. It's true that. It, 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 true it, that. At least McIlwain had Mark Ingram and, and Trent Richardson, a Wildcat, something. something. No, Mac didn't have no backwards hat up there. Mac Mixed knew it what up, doing. man. Hey, and, 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 and at least Nussmeyer knew something. I'm huh? telling you, man. <laughs> listen, man. You're going to see Lane learn from a lot of the mistakes he made last year that it'll be a more competitive game because you look at the year prior – and Ole Miss had Alabama's ass on the ropes that year. Yep. Now, I think Lane will defer back to that game plan that he used that year opposed to what he used last year because he's facing the same dumbass defensive coordinator who struggles at making adjustments and who chokes every damn game. Yep. So I can see him going back to that game plan from two years ago and learning from those mistakes from last year. And again, they're going to run the ball early and often to make that safety come down in the box. And then you'll begin to see those screen passes. And once you start to see that, you better get ready because next thing you're going to see, you're going to see Lane doing this. And they're going to throw that thing over the top. And y'all all seen him do it numerous yep. times. He set up plays like no other. He That's how he likes to set them up. So that's when you start to see them run the ball, then you start seeing those screens, you know what's coming next. That's what got <laughs> Don't me say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lane, Lane versus Golden. That's 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 such that's such a mismatch it's in like my a opinion. Pit bull on the Chihuahua. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's start to close things up. Marvin, tell us what's going on with Forty Plus Strong. How fans can find that, and where they can find you on social media. Ooh, you know, you can find me, man. Constant Forty Five is my IG, man. The link to my fitness book is on there, man. You know, it's crazy. I'm actually coming up on my one year anniversary of my knee replacement surgery. December the 23rd, man. So it's going to be interesting to see what December the 3rd looks like. I mean, December 23rd looks like for me. My goal for December the 23rd is to be about 208, 210, about five <coughs> percent body fat. So we're going to see if I hit that. Dang. Okay. I need to work out with you. <laughs> Come on. All right, Bo. Pop your stuff, man. You got a lot of stuff going on. You got Cameo. You got your your shirt line, man. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of everything you got going. Yeah, I'm on. Um, I'm on Cameo now. Um, and you know, I got my clothes line, my different shirts. You know, I got the hoodies and stuff and things coming, sweats and all that leggings. Um, it's boscarbro.com, and you can find me on, on Instagram with um boscarbro and Twitter the same, boscarbro as well. That's what's up. And last but not least, thank you to our legends who came on with us today. Absolute honor. Always a blessing to have you, DJ, and you, Matt. Too bad Marquise couldn't really stay on. I guess he didn't pay his minutes. But, hey, <laughs> it was an honor to have you guys on. Uh, for the fans, um, how can they find you? Uh, DJ, I, I guess they have to find you on a boat, right? Well, you know they can't find me. But what, what I do want to say is boat. <laughs> Don't let Marvin outdo you. Marvin sent me a book, bro. So you need to send me some gear. I got it. <laughs> Y'all ready up. Give me some money. What's that shirt you wear? Hey, bro, I need, some, I, I need some gear, bro. What's that shirt you wear? I wear whatever size you got. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, give me all XL, bro. I need an oh, XL, bro. I got you. I'm going to get your number from Justin. You see yes, that, don't you? Yeah. 
Ooh. Ooh. No, I, ain't, I ain't fooling with you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, still eat, I still eat pork chops. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. And you could still burn Marvin, couldn't you? He over there doing curls. Right. Ooh, well, y'all see them, though. Hey, who is that? Is that Terry Crews? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Marvin. Hey, hey, Marvin be bench pressing the freeway. Yeah. <laughs> I had to come back from this knee replacement surgery, man. That was a struggle, man. Listen, y'all don't understand the hell I've been through these past 10 months, baby. You so, made it, bro, though. Hey, I had to claim life back. I had to, that same mentality I played football with, that's the same mentality I pro life with, man. That's it's the way to be, bro. 100 miles an hour, baby. Yeah. Ain't nothing going to stop me from doing nothing I want to do. I love it, bro. All right, Matt Cadell, how can folks find you? I know you man, got a little just, bit of podcasting going on. So tell Yeah, man, I'm trying to get into podcasting. Casting waters. I'm trying to do a little something called Football University, man. Just trying to start it off. So find me on Twitter. Um, I'm gonna take out the Matthew Cadell. I don't know why I type that in. It's gonna be Matt Cadell <laughs> or Pete Dove, however you want to yeah. say it. But yeah, follow me. You know, hopefully we can uh, get the Bama can roll on Saturday, man. But uh, yeah, let's get it. Foles up, man. Foles. Bama Sapphire. <laughs> it make you think twice about calling Wingstop for 100 wings now. <laughs> money for depression. And I'm ordering a damn $20 pizza. <laughs> Stephen M. Smith, that leaves you. What you got going on on your show tomorrow night? Trying to keep people laughing at the same time. Keep them from not crying. That's hard. Man. Yeah. They, they were crying all day Monday. Yeah. <laughs> crying. What? crying ain't going to get it done. Yep. It ain't gonna get it done. I'm, I'm saying, tell you, hey, if y'all want some charming, man, I, I can't help you want the charm. Alabama <laughs> <laughs> defense got all the charming. That's it. That's it. Well, guys, we're great do- show. We're gonna yeah. call it a night here. Thank you to everybody in the chat. Thank you, especially to the people who donated in the super chat. I want to remind everyone if you hadn't yet, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, we have a separate channel, the Bama Standard Channel on YouTube. It's blowing up. After this, please go check us out. Hit like and hit subscribe button and let us know that you watched the show tonight. Thank you again to our great panel of guests. Man, we love when you're on with us, and we will definitely have you back. But as for us, roll tide. Roll tide, baby. Yes, sir. Roll tide, baby. Yes, sir. Y'all be easy.